Boy, ladies and gentlemen, it's another one of those fantastic treats. Yes, it's indeedy. It's on Yes Fiver and Dan Radio Style together again. What? How can that be so? I know. It's crazy. Where does this happen? How does this happen? It's a black hole. It's been the right amount of mojo. Gets together, and bam, there you go. So uh, we've got a good show today. Talk about uh, like Louise Hayes and himself properly. Yeah. And then uh, we're also talking about uh, some... Some good things to kind of keep in mind uh, when it gets into self-love and how that times interrelates with how we might change others or try to change others. Anyway, don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Anya Svivirly, what the heck is going on with you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Enjoying. Oh, yeah. Um... Sorry, I was going to let you talk a little. <laughs> yeah, I saw that comment under the last YouTube. <laughs> is that what you're referring to? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, of course, of course. Uh, you should say to so, me, yeah, no, we're, don't, uh, don't talk while I'm interrupting is what you should say to me, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I have been shushed more times in my life because uh, my voice, like I say, it's, uh, it's, it's apparently at such the right pitch that it not only travels through walls, but it travels through time. Yes. Ah, yeah. Well, there you so, go. Yes. Well, what's, what's, uh, what's this great quote we've got with Louis Pace okay. and, and love and... Loving this ourselves. Is from what's, what's going you on? You can Talk heal your life by you can heal your life. Hey. So she awesome. says, the process of loving the self, and why Dan and I are talking about self love today is because it's the end of the year, and we both said that people are often in a bit of a funk, and that this is a good time to remind yourself to do the self love. Yes, we do it all year, but especially in December, going into the new year. Because often we're thinking about what we haven't manifested, where we've gone wrong, where we think we should be, and we're not there. So you stop all that and you do this. So Louise Hay says in her little book on page 77, The Process of Loving the Self. As I have said before, no matter what the problem, the main issue to work on is loving the self. This is the magic wand that dissolves problems. Remember the time when you felt good about yourself and how well your life was going. Remember the times when you were in love and for those periods you seemed to have no problems. Well, loving yourself is going to bring such a surge of good feelings and good fortune to you that you will be dancing on air. Loving yourself makes you feel good. It is impossible to really love yourself unless you have self-approval and self-acceptance. So I like how she breaks down self-love into kind of two things, self-acceptance and self-approval. This means no criticism whatsoever. I can hear all the objections right now, but I've always criticized myself. But how can I possibly like that about myself? My parents, teachers, lovers have always criticized me. How will I be motivated? But is it wrong for me to do those things or how am I going to change if I don't criticize myself? So she talks about training the mind and the mind is letting go of the old chatter and she talks about stop berating yourself, stop being resistant to change, ignore the thoughts and get on with the important work of hand, at hand, which is to say to yourself, I love and approve myself exactly as I am. So there you go. Thank you, Louise. A lot of things that come from the very get go when you're, yeah. Well, when you're, when you're loving yourself, that, that almost seem also a good place to start where that kind of means you're, you're accepting of where you are right now. That's yeah. exactly also a huge part of loving ourselves. You know, the, the concept, because I hear a lot of people say, well, I love myself. It's like, well, I don't know. Let's chit chat a little bit and let's see how that plays out. Right. Right. But one of the real things is, are you, are you okay with where you're at right now? Maybe not where you want to stay, but yeah. are you okay with right now? Yeah. And often I, the answer would you is no. Agree that's kind of, yeah. Often well, for a lot of people, yeah. right. That's yeah. A, yeah. For sure. And I think from, from that's one of the first key places that a lot of us can really start. So let's just take a, a couple of stabs in the dark here. Maybe something we can do, especially this time of year, New yeah. Year's for, for a lot of the Western world. And we can look at the things in our lives that are going well. Yeah. And one, it's a focus on 
no matter what. This is a win-win. But yeah. let's spend a little time thinking about the things that are going correctly, right? What yeah. is good in your life? What is actually going okay? Maybe you don't have your specific person yet. All right, let's push that aside for a second. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe maybe you don't have that new job yet. Maybe you don't have the, the six-figure income yet. It's okay. What is going right? What is working? Yeah. What, do, you, do you know of any any fun techniques or any any ways that you would recommend when you're coaching people how to yep. make the best of the right to, to see the to see the good and the bad how, what, what do you recommend what do you think i think when you walk like i go walking and i'll do a little technique and I, you know obviously share it with other people where you just say to yourself you start the sentence i love so you're going for a walk and you say i love i love that i've got a really comfortable bed. I love I had a good sleep. I love that I've got breakfast. I love that I've got a hot shower and the water pressure is really good. I love that I can brush my teeth in the shower. I love that I've got, you know, 12 eggs in the fridge and I can make myself an omelet. And you literally keep filling in the blank. I love, I love. So I did a meditation. Actually, I'll put it down below. It's a meditation called I love. And you literally go and yeah. fill in the blanks. And it's it gets you out of glass half empty and into glass half full thinking. I like that because, again, it's just one of those tricks where it kind of forces yeah. that, that thought process because there's a lack process of thinking and there's a, an abundance yep. process of thinking. And really yeah. the I love, I love, I enjoy, what's, that's more of that abundance of thinking. It's just it comes from that side. There's really, you know. That yeah. I'm afraid I don't have, I'm not good enough, I'm afraid I'm not worthy, and we'll totally self. But there's that that fear aspect that a lot of us fall into. And it, yeah. because it's hab habitual, a lot of us, this is how we were when we were kids, maybe it was defense mechanism, but it's that process of shifting that thinking towards what we do have, what we do love. And that's where yeah. I think a lot of people would, well, how can I get myself thinking about something positive? And I've even joked, I'm like, all right. And I started describing a muffin, a blueberry muffin, all right? You got a blueberry muffin and you got to peel it off and it's kind of steaming and maybe you shove the little thing of butter inside the center of that and you go to maybe take the top off and just the delicious, the butter's melting down your hand, right? Like now you're thinking about a muffin. That's yeah. how you change your thoughts. Yeah. You think about something, that's all. Yeah. And so the, it's awesome, I love the whatever. Then just think about things that you like and tell yourself yeah. to do that instead of letting thoughts just pop into your mind or go wherever yeah. they may. Yeah. You got to give the mind something to do. Quotes around uh, what happens when I'm, oh my goodness. Or right? it'll, you, or yeah, it'll give it something, something to do. Or it'll or find it something. Will, yep. Correct. You beat me to it. We're at the same time on that. Exactly. <laughs> You're right. Like it either feed your mind something to think or yeah. your mind's going to feed you yeah. all things exactly. that's a good one for people right out there is like don't yeah. don't let your mind run the roost right don't yeah. let, show it where you'd like to go tell it yeah exactly Focus right on. exactly so let me right. ask you this um I, I think a lot of people all of us right um i you know i have a little funny gap in my teeth right there's like any weird things that it's not the only thing i got four eyes and all sorts of other issues I'm a skinny person whatever right we all have the things that we're not worthy right yeah this how do we get ourselves to shift into a place where we really can appreciate the fact that I'm not overweight and the fact that my teeth are not per yeah. perfect, which gives them character and the fact yeah. that I wear glasses, which yeah. I haven't got a good one for that yet, but whatever. Some people like glasses. Maybe they look smart, right? Maybe. Yeah. That's, know. But what do you recommend? What, what's your thought process? Well, I think it's when you start going into you know, I've got this or I've got that. And usually that stuff comes from childhood because you got picked on at school because of those things. But school was a long time ago for a lot of us and they, those people aren't there anymore. It's you doing it to you. So you go, okay. Again, rather than going, you know, for me it was I had, you know, a funny nose, I had freckles, I had curly hair. They were my top three. So it's like those things today are what make me me they make me a little bit unique like you with the teeth, you know, and you just go, I don't really care about those things anymore. Cause I've done, I love myself. I love myself en enough that I just think who cares? Like everybody's got something. So why don't right. we just appreciate our uniqueness and our idiosyncrasies that we don't all look like a bunch of robots coming out of an egg carton and we're all the same. How boring would that be? 
these things are what make us unique. And, you know, I remember I watched this podcast recently where this guy was talking about that he was told that he was incredibly disruptive and, and he was just a chatterbox at school and the teachers were always kicking him out for talking. Now he was on this podcast and he was saying he now makes millions of dollars because he is talkative and he's a radio show host. So we turned the negative thing that, that he was picked on for into, you know, he turned the, the per, it into a pearl. So I think you've got to look at those things and yeah. say, my things that I think are whatever about me, they are the key often to my uniqueness that will create not only people relating to me, but also it will help other people accept themselves when you share what things you don't think are good about yourself or what things you thought weren't good about yourself. I mean, who really cares about physical things? It really, at the end of the day, it's so unimportant how we look. It, we look how we look because we're born from these two people. You know, they gave us that. We can't go, I want to be, you know, you're five foot four <clears throat> and you want to be six foot tall. I mean, you could probably try get Neville Goddard's imagination creates reality. See how you go with that. But what's wrong with being five foot four? Who cares? Or 164. I've had people ask me that one. That's yeah. a tough one for me. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> that's a, that's a perfect tie in and not to me. I've written down three other questions. So we're going to yeah. circle around here for a little, you hit on some, <laughs> some amazing things, but I've literally had, and this ties into where we're going to go, but whatever, I, I'll lose this one. But if, if, People talk about wanting to change. It's like the fact that I'm 5'4 is such a bitch. I'm 5'4. How can I be six foot? I've had people ask me that. And it's me like, too. I get like you're saying, there are a lot of attraction techniques. But the very premise of looking at yourself and trying to change something in a, such a significant way, like yes. I've got one arm, I want <laughs> two, or I've got two arms, I want three. Like you're, you're the way you are for a reason, I guess, right? Let's, let's start with kind of acceptance of, yeah. Of right here, right now, I the fact that I got crooked teeth and yeah. four eyes, and the fact that you know, you know, hair is starting to thin a little bit back here for me too. Like you know, it's, it's happening, yeah. man. That's part of growing older. It's I can't, it, I can't hate it. It's 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 an issue of realizing, right? And it's we're more than that. And we're that's more the than thing that. I think that's so hard for so <laughs> many people is you get caught up yeah you get caught yeah. up on the fact that well yeah but kathy sue is very pretty and yeah. and over there is is so perfectly slender and she's got the big whatever's yeah. you know i mean like yeah. whatever the thing is what what you are is perfect you yeah. are exactly what you are what you were meant to be and by embracing and loving that yeah you exude a, an attractiveness a sexiness yeah. Uh, I agree. A level of, of it like it takes it could take a five and bump you up to an eight and a half nine like it, it's yeah. that big a difference when you feel it from inside yeah. whatever's <laughs> on the outside you can yeah. have that big giant pimple right in the middle of your head and you're talking to your sp and he is so enamored <laughs> by you he might see it but then he's back to your eyes and he's like, dude, like I fell in, there was one girl that I touched my soul in ways that no one else did. And when I first met her, she had just gotten some sort of nose job done. And it wasn't for cosmetics per se, as much as to fix sinus issues, but her face was black and blue. Her eyes were black and blue. She had this giant white gauze on her face. And I looked in her eyes and I'm like, this is the most beautiful woman I've ever laid eyes on. And it was just weird. I mean, it was just funny yeah. how we met and the way things played out. So it matter what perceived ugly thing that we all have. All yeah. of us have insecurities. Yeah, we do. Some of the most beautiful people I have met, known a lot of great people have been in theater. Like I've dealt with people that were just oddly attractive. They are so insecure too. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. Are. Right, Anya? You're yeah. the same one I was just referring to. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, that's true. And I think... You know, I get probably 10 emails a week about people saying, how can I change my looks? And I think, and it's from men and women. And I think, well, hang on. Well, what's behind the request? Why are you wanting that? You know, I mean, you can have and want whatever you want. But you when know, I hear I, that, I think, hang on. This, this is, is a perfect sign. 
from, yeah. right? Here's yeah. someone that's not practicing self-love. Usually they start their sentence off. Tell me if I'm wrong, but the very first sentence of the email is I've been, pra well, first off, uh, you're wonderful and I've been watching you. And then there's the whole, I've been practicing self-love yes. and, but this, you know, and they go into this whole long thing. Now this reminds me because I've got a great quote and this ties in whether we talk about it specifically, but this is Neville Goddard. Yep. This is from your faith is your fortune. Yeah. The quote is, Change your conception of yourself and yeah. you will automatically change the world in which you live. Yeah. Do not try to change people. They are only messengers telling you who you are. Mm. Revalue yourself and they will confirm the change. It's the way to change this perception that we're missing. We're lack. Yeah. Our SP doesn't, isn't interested in us because of X, Y, or Z. So many yeah. of us have little, we have <laughs> actual things fill in the blank. And there is a thing that pops into our head every time. Our, just say it to yourself right now. My SP is not with me because. And, and you will find yourself filling in the thing that you really need to learn to appreciate and wrap your arms around and give a hug and love yeah. because the way you're going to change these outer reality that you're looking to change this outer circumstances, mm. this thing that you're lacking is yeah. going to come through loving yourself mm. through appreciating who you are right now. Yeah. Right? Oh, and that it's comes just, through. It man. sounds so I, simple. And to so many people, you've heard it too. I've heard it too. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it truly does. Yeah. Neville Goddard, I think talks about it a great deal about how much of these things come, everything comes from within, right? Yeah. Everything outside of ourselves comes from within. Yeah. Yet so many of us put our power in something outside of ourselves to make us happy or to make us feel good or yeah. to make us feel, they just make me feel whole again. Yeah. And it's that that's a, a, a red flag to any of the coaches in the world that Whoa, 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 whoa. Something to make you feel whole again? Well, it's not that it's, no, no, no. Hang on. Let's back up to this key thing said. Make yeah. you whole again. You're maybe not coming at it from that place yet. Yeah. You've obviously, you've been coaching crazy, but I would imagine that that pops up in my mind. Yeah. Well, I get emails where people say, look, I don't care about anything else. I just need her or I don't care about anything else. My life's not worth living if I'm not with them. And I think, ooh, that's why the person left because they felt that real energy drain from you trying to suck love out of them. And that's why they left. So, you know, you gotta, you got to correct that within yourself. You can still have a chance of being with somebody, but you got to, you got to, you can't ice a rotten cake. You got to deal with the foundation and you got to lay it properly, which is you get that, you reassure yourself. You learn how to self love through what you think and what you then changes how you feel. But just trying to get that person to be here, you got your ladder up the wrong wall, as we've said before. It's, it's got to be an inside job. And if it's not, you're a burden to people. And I'm going to be that hard. You are a burden to people when you're needy. You're a burden, you're a burden, you're a burden because they don't need that job. So and when we talk about needy, it's, it's a, to realize it's not that I, it, it, it comes from this place of loving someone so, so yeah. much that it's like yeah. uncomfortable, love them so much. Like yeah. I want to crawl inside of them, right? Like you've got this weird <laughs> sort of love and it's and it's very confusing right because yeah. of how confusing that love is it but yeah. at the same time it's that it's that that holding on so tightly that's so strong of love that actually causes you to want to control yeah the situation and that yeah. i think is where it becomes dangerous and that's yes. where we're that's where the neediness the i'm trying it's not that you're wrong so i don't want it to sound like that it's I want this to be meaningful to a lot of those that are out there. Like, what is needy? It's that. It's that yeah. I'm tr trying to control things that really yeah. are not in my control. Just yeah. be you. Just be love. Be yeah. be in love with this person and enjoy the experience rather than control mm. the experience. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, and all the crack I smoke, should I stop doing that? That no, I think you know. smoke some more because it works working well for you today. <laughs> nice. Send send some to me, FedEx in Australia. And so she's in the middle of summertime right now. We're in the middle of winter. I love it. 
I love it. I, that's so funny. Yeah, so funny. it is. I love how it's explained all the kangaroos. Different places. Mate. Kangaroos, yes. I haven't seen any today. I am going to Uluru. Really? Are they, they, they're just normally they're just hopping around though, right? They're not hopping around. But no. I'm, I'm going to Uluru. I've had this dream to go to the center of australia because australia is like a donut with a big rock in the middle which is called uluru if you use the aboriginal word it's called ayers rock if you use the western word so uluru is where you see the red earth and the electric blue sky and it's 43 degrees there at the end of january which is you double it and you add 30 what's that 86 oh, 96 hang on 126 Got it still open. Hang you on. still got it open? That's 109.4 degrees. Yeah. It's 109, gonna be 110, 110. Like, it's going to make my hot. hair curly. Yeah. But I thought, I think I, if I'm going to go there, the same British, British, bloody hot. It's bloody no? hot. Yeah. Bloody hot. Bloody mate. hot. Bloody hot, mate. Bloody hot. Just say it in Oz. <laughs> hey, mate. So this is a, of course. a trip to go and be in an environment that you know part of self-love is doing things you love and this trip for me is something that's been on my list for t probably 15 20 years of wanting to go to this place and it's you know it's only two hour flight away it's not that far but i don't even know how we got onto this conversation why did i bring that up <laughs> We it were going the somewhere time. with it. Uh, I think we were talking about doing things we love. Yeah, enjoying. Yeah. Oh, no, you started with the kangaroos. Where we are. I don't know. There seemed to be a lot you of things. You started with the kangaroos. Man. So, well, yeah, the there will be. Uluru. Right. Why, why wouldn't you go to Uluru when I said kangaroo? Or... Kangaroo. Right? Yeah, that Uluru, makes perfect kangaroo. sense. And in fact, <laughs> when I was younger, we had underwear that had superheroes on them, and they were called underoos. So, underoos. let's just go ahead and round it up. That's Oh, wow. I need some Under, of those. Yeah, the ruse of underneath. I down need some, under. Down, the down under. under ruse. I need under ruse for my trip. Where do I get them? <laughs> you know what? I will buy you a pack of, <laughs> of adult under ruse and I will ship them to you. <laughs> under ruse. I love that name. How cute under is that? What is like a Wonder Woman? Where's your, what are you, a Hulk? What kind of, what kind of superhero are you? I mean, you know lot to get into but i don't know i don't i don't i don't know what, what? superhero i'm into i watch you, you I, never... I watch um luke cage and iron fist and stuff like that <laughs> okay <Netflix>. well that a <laughs> little different but iron fist i see <laughs> ladies yeah. and gentlemen just say iron fist of agnes vivarelli that's right <laughs> so uh, now i um right the us on a side Side salad. Oh, that never happens. Um, no. What question I have for you? Yeah. <laughs> never. Uh, when, when people are looking, I, I just wonder, I'm just throwing this out. This is a weird, who knows, weird, weird thought process. Um, people kind of look at, they want to change individuals that are close. Maybe they're a specific person. Maybe there's something about them they're trying to change or trying to make them more of something or trying to yeah. make them do something less. Like that obviously, I think, I think, it, at least my understanding of law of attraction, my understanding of the way spirit type stuff works. Like that's really a reflection of us. Do you got anything that kind of explains why I know it's the us pushed out, but like how that actually manifests itself to where I'm looking at, I'm seeing things in individuals that I want to change. Right. Yeah. Like how, how can we easily bring that home to someone to help them see that there's, there is actually something inside yourself that maybe, needs a hug or whatever. Like, do you, yeah. I don't know. Am I crazy or is there, you got a thought on that? Did I spark anything maybe if I'm lucky? <laughs> well, yeah, I think you're right when you say everyone's you pushed out. So things don't group around you in your little orbit unless you've got some tentacle that sticks to it. And like a lizard with a tongue catching a fly, it brings it back. So it's the same. It's like things aren't happening around you unless there's some component in you that fits together so you go okay if i've got someone who has an addiction per se a drug addiction a gambling addiction an alcohol addiction um any kind of addiction then there must be a corresponding thing in you that says i'm not a priority i'm not important because addicts put their addiction before anything 
depending obviously on the level of addiction. I'm talking about high func like not high functioning addicts, high using addicts. So if, if you are in a relationship or trying to have a relationship with an addict, then you have to have the corresponding belief that I'm not deserving. I'm not worthy. I'm not a priority. I'm not important. I don't matter. I'm not saying you have all of those, but you definitely have one or two of those fairly strongly to have the experience of that on the outside. So you always use what's in front of you to dismantle stuff within you, which is really good. Instead of going, they, why addict, they need to stop. I've got to get them to stop. They need to go to AA. They need to go to narcotics anonymous. You just go, hang on a minute why am I here with this around me? What have I got going on? And you start to dismantle you. Stop looking at them dismantling or them changing. I need to work on them. I'm a priority. I'm loved. I'm wanted. And you've also probably got the belief that people are emotionally unavailable as in the person I want to be with is emotionally unavailable. Otherwise you wouldn't have an emotionally unavailable person in front of you. So if you can pull everything back to you, yeah, go ahead. So let me ask the hardest question, the totally the hardest question. I think this is the question that a lot of people face. And, and, and you don't have, have to answer it because it is, it, is, it is, I think it's, it's tough. Yeah. When you're at that place where an individual fulfills a you pushed out scenario, that really is a self-love issue, right? So yeah. in your case, the example you give, and I think this is a, a, a very similar example to a lot of people, right? Like, yeah. so I don't love myself enough necessarily to have someone that puts me as a priority. So yeah. very, very easily addictive personality is a great fit for that. That's a perfect match. Yeah. On top, I want to be with someone that's not maybe emotionally available. Addicts kind of are as well too. So do we address that? So once we we do address it, I should say. I guess it's possible that, I don't know, I'm just throwing this out. I'm just, whatever, you, you help me with finishing this thought process off. But I guess it's possible that this individual could change once I change myself, if yep. they want to, I guess, right? If yep. that's part of their plan and they don't want to keep an addict. Yep. Or do you kind of, at that point, almost force yourself to writing that list of things I want from a specific person because the person that I've currently got on the pedestal is... Is not happening probably not going to change. Maybe yeah. you really truly want love. Maybe. So I don't know. I like, how does that, because a lot of people out there, you know, that wrestle with that very yeah. question. Like yeah. at what point do I look at it? At like they're not accepting this change that needs to happen because I've worked on me and yeah. I'm not okay with this anymore. So I know yeah. that's how I know I have fixed this internally. So do I then like, how do I know when that, I don't, you know, cause we tell everybody, Buddy, from a standpoint of coaching that yeah you can manifest anything you want yeah but there is kind of limits to that kind of i mean i don't know talk to me because i think yeah Whatever. i think look talk i think me. in that case that you're talking about you do your internal work you can imagine and have the power of imagining and faith and belief but in there's still a, a percentage and I know people don't like hearing this, but there's still a percentage where it gets rejected and you know, you can use that to beat yourself up and go, well, I'm in the 15% or you can say I'm in the 85% because you know, often if people really do their self love things work out. But in the case of what you're saying with the addict, you might, you do your change, you project love out to them. They then go, I'm going to accept that and change, or I'm going to stay like a stick in the mud and I'm not going to change because I don't want to. So you've got to accept that people have got free will. They are not under the power of your control. And I'm going to make that very clear. And I know people get the shits with me when I say it, but you can have power of influence, but you do not have power to control. And that is life. So we cannot that, control the other, other hardest people. question. And, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I think the other, and I just want you to touch upon it, please, pretty yeah. please, if you could, because this has been, I think, the other sticking point for a lot of people is if then 
and everything's us pushed out, yet there's this scenario where somebody is able to reject the influence yep. that I'm suggesting to them, right? Because that's about yeah. all this comes down to is a, yeah. an energetic influence, right? Yeah. And yeah. they always have the option to say no. And I think Goddard says specifically it reflects back on you. Yeah. But how, yeah, how do we... How do we remedy that aspect? Is it when we've finally changed ourself and now we're looked can't be anymore that it's no longer us pushed out or the us pushed out is now showing me this doesn't work anymore because I finally fixed what's inside? Help us all rationalize that. Help us That's understand That's a really good that. question. I think you can and and there are varying degrees of how much people believe and how much people have faith so that's going to have a big impact on things but absolutely and i do see dan that through coaching through um people earnestly working on their self-love not people going and do my self-love because i want to get that person and i think that's a big 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 reason why people do not get their specific person because they're still doing it for them. And the universe feels whether you're doing it earnestly or whether you're still doing it to try to get. That's why I see people fail. Because that one thing is I'm really, and yes, and Dan talk about self-love and Louise Hay and all these people, but I'm still really doing it because I just want to get my specific person. And that is still about you putting someone on a pedestal and still trying to get love from them. And you gotta be honest with yourself. You don't have to be honest with everybody else, but you gotta be honest with yourself. Am I still doing that? And the people that are still doing that are the ones that fail. Those are the ones that I see fail because that person still feels you're putting them first and you're putting yourself second. And that is a lack of self-respect and that lack of self-respect brings you the evidence of it. Yeah. And I think you're right on the money with that. I, I think it, it, you're right. Like, cause there's, <laughs> it's so easy for me to look inward and not really be yeah. fair or honest, or maybe taking into account the fact that things are kind of us pushed out. Right. Yeah. So if I'm still experiencing this, weird scenario that somehow it's them because it's oh. easier to say it's them. It's easy to put it outside of ourselves. Yeah. But to your point, when we finally get ourselves to the place where that's no longer acceptable, meaning that version of us pushed out is no longer applicable, doesn't exist yeah. anymore. That aspect of me pushed out is gone. Then one of two things happens. Either the situation kind of dissolves just on its own. Like you will get to a point where you're like, you know what, F him. Or he'll say something stupid and you'll be like, screw this dude. Or someone will start talking to you that just like, and you'll be like, why do I feel guilty about this? What? Right. That'll happen. Or they'll suddenly not be an addict anymore. Mm. But one of those two things, yeah. when you've really finally resolved your internal struggle, when you finally do that, that is how your external world will manifest itself, which God, that brings me back to this. I want to say the quote one more time. Yeah. Change your concept of yourself and you will automatically change the world in which you live. Yeah. Do not try to change people. They yeah. are only messengers telling you, you are mm. tell you yourself yeah. and they will confirm the change. Yeah. Either you won't want them anymore or you will and they'll change it will work. That's what'll happen. Mm. One of those two things, right? And, I don't know. That, and what's his yeah. name? Um, Dr. Hugh Lynn is a perfect Not example what, of that. What's his name? Everyone knows what's his name. Oh. <laughs> Still jet lagged. <laughs> and so, so what was, what did he say? What did well, Dr. Well, it's a, exactly Wait, what Hugh you Lang? said. Is that what you said? Dr. Hugh Lynn, the whole Ho'oponopono guy, he didn't go there to heal oh. or fix or change the people in the hospital. He went there to dissolve the part of him that created them. When you do that earnestly, when you are no longer trying to change those people because they are whatever you think they are, stubborn, addicts, liars, cheaters, players, because I hear all of these comments all the time, when you sweep your side of the street properly with no 
you only use those people out there as a reference point as okay, if that's still there, I must have a belief system that's active, that that's still in front of me. You quit quickly as best you can correct it through affirmations, self-love meditations, as Louise Hay said in that reading, problems dissolve when you work on your self-love. You work on your self-love, the problems dismantle and dissolve. And like Dr. Hugh Lenny worked on himself, he worked on his anger, he worked on his rage, he worked on his hostility, he worked on his aggression. And those people slowly, one by one, left his life because obviously he didn't want to have, it was a, physic, a business relationship. It wasn't a, you know, a personal relationship. So you're not wanting people to hang around. I'm going to swap that with someone that's still bringing yeah. in some money. <laughs> so it's like you can, you're not actually influencing people in the way that you think you are actually changing yourself and then that naturally has an influence because you've changed the external circumstances must sh shape shift into something else. The best that I have as an example, and I, I, I don't know how many people this is going to apply to or, or at least that will know this. But uh, it was probably the 90s or something stupid. There was a thing called blue blocker sunglasses. I think they still have them. And, and they block a certain color. Uh, it's like they're orangish sometimes. And you'll put them on and everything seems oddly clear because it blocks out certain colors. Yeah. And those colors tend to be, I think, of a shorter wavelength, if I remember correctly. Anyway, long story short, you put on these glasses and there's this weird clarity that comes on you're not seeing anything different than what you did see without the glasses. It's the same stuff that was in front of you, but this particular filter yeah. is blocking things. And now all of a sudden certain clarity now exists. It's the same that happens in us when we change internally. Yeah. We change pop on our face. And when we look at the same exact life, yeah. that second ago, it still contained the thing that we just changed, it's still there, yeah. but now we don't see it because we got a new filter. Our blue blockers don't let us see it anymore. And that's really what happens when you fix yes. it inside yourself. Yes. And when you do that earnestly, because I don't want to put people off that you can't manifest a specific person because obviously I believe in it Absolutely. and I think it's possible. But yeah. the big but is yeah, yeah, yeah. when you're doing the when you're doing the specific person stuff more than the self love stuff, you've still missed the whole thing about the power of influence. Power of influence comes from you being loved and wanted and giving up unloved and unwantedness. That's the power of influence. That's where it comes from. So I see a very high success rate of people getting their specific person back when they really do that earnestly. And they're not just trying to get from doing the processes, law of attraction, Neville, et cetera, et cetera, that they literally go, you know what? I'm an, I'm an addict. Like I'm an addict where I'm like an addict with a drug trying to get something there with this person and looking and going, what's wrong with me that I'm like that? and earnestly saying, what is wrong with me? Now there are 12 step programs like Alcoholics Anonymous called Sex and Love Addicts Anonymous. This is a lot of people suffer from what is termed love addiction. I need to get it from over there. So you got to deal with the fact that it's not them running away from you and them being emotionally available and them being stubborn and them trying to get away from you and them blocking you. It's about you being too needy too demanding, too controlling, you're begging, you're acting like a crazy person. And that's what you have to deal with in being on. And there are varying degrees of that. Some people are very mild. Other people are extremely on the high end of the scale. And there's lots of people in between. You will know where you are. But in saying that, I've, I do email coaching. Some people don't know where they are. They actually think they're doing okay, but they're doing, you know, they're, they're texting someone a hundred times a day. That's not cool. So. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. You've got to be able to really truly look at, at you. what your objective. Yeah. And yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> uh, I've found a lot of people like those that text a lot, like what's well, a lot. Like, did you text them more than twice yeah. and didn't get a react? Like, Oh, 
right off the bat, just a whole chunk of our audience went, oh, because yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Maybe times is okay but really if you've gone past two and you're up at five six seven yeah. ten yeah yeah you're getting all frustrated too right you never get yeah. text me back you're right and you're freaking them out too you're with freaking your 50 them texts out. a day man but even dan Relax even even yeah, one even one text that's extremely needy oh mushy or something not, yeah, yeah one text that's extremely needy can blow the whole thing too so you got to look at what was the energy behind? Because I know some people yeah, you're 100%. really long first text of, you know, you haven't done this and you haven't contacted me and don't you want to see me and what's wrong that you don't want it? And you're doing all that. That's as damaging as 100 texts as well. You've got to look at the concentration of the text as well. So, you know, and, and yeah. look, I want to say all of this is, is, Oh, I won't use the word curable because I don't think that's really the right word, but it's definitely correctable, this stuff within you. Curable. If, if you curable do the right stuff. Does it sound like, a, it's like I can <laughs> take a pill and, yeah. and what it really is to your point is it's a little bit of internal effort. And yeah. here's the thing is that's really what I think from my, from my audience for sure. Like one of the things that's really important is that level of self growth that we yeah. go through. It's learning that I've been, here's how I stopped being needy. I mean, um, Marianne Williams Turn to Love, right? Like a great book that really yeah. helps you look at what kind of quality of love you're actually giving and, and, give, and, and, and experiencing with someone. So sometimes it really does yeah. take that stepping back a little bit and looking at what you're doing for you to finally be able to do something about it. Yeah. To keep assuming that, ah, I'm fine, la, la. La, la, yeah. la. Like it, no, 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 no. Like you're having the contrast for a reason. It's okay. Like it's, it's okay. okay. Don't be angry at the fact that what's happening yep. is happening. It's yeah. It's showing you something. That's okay. That's great. You yeah. can now do something with yeah, it you when you it. let it. Uh, when you let it kind of show you, like it's a screen yeah. in front of you, giving you yeah. little indications of where you're at. It's yeah. okay. That's what so so many people are like. I must be doing something wrong. No, yeah. no, no, no. Stuff's coming up. It's good. That's, yeah, you gotta fix it that way. Up, you've got a just, little bit of. You got some garbage underneath. Yeah, there. but just don't text people there. while you're in the and middle of it. And you got a little bit of little bit of trash kind of bubbling up. Yes. Don't text yes. people while and you're in the middle of it. Another thing that's, I think. Yeah. It's, it's another thing to kind of remind some people out there that maybe some of you that are taking a little longer. This is just to throw that that question mark back on to every three audience, certainly for my audience too. But sometimes one of the most powerful forces in our lives will be love. Mm. Love will be a thing that moves mountains. It will be a thing that causes you to do something that you never thought you'd do. It causes you to go down an avenue that you don't, doesn't look like it's the right place to go, but it sure feels like it. Love is a very powerful motivating force. And if there's some crazy large amount of love that you're experiencing with someone, there's probably something to it. So no matter what, if it's causing you to feel like you need to go down a path, then you're probably in that 85% we were talking about. You're probably fine, but mm. let's look internally. What do you got going on? Let's be yeah. honest. Don't, you gotta don't keep assume on it. that it's them because it's not. Like yes. you're only as good as today. Well, you know? hopefully forever we evolve and just become better and better and greater. Yeah. 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 So true. I mean, you and so I true. still have now, potholes. So, I don't know. I got, gosh, yes. Yeah. Thanks for throwing me under the bus there, but you're right. You're right on. Yes. Yeah. We course, haven't, yeah. you no, know, we're in relationships. Exactly. We're still dealing with our own selves that come up and things that we're not, you know, when you're tired or when you're, haven't done your own internal work or something's happened at work or whatever. You just go, Oh, I'm not feeling great. And then you get a bit, you know, and then you derail and then your partner goes, okay, get away from me. Not in those words, but you go, Oh, okay. I got to sweep. Yeah. I got to get back on the bus yeah. and do my own work. So it's ongoing. Yeah. It's ongoing. And even, you know, one thing I remind people too, it's just like, Hey, maybe you're not there yet, but again, when you get to that first date again or whatever, or when you can <laughs> that place where you're getting back together, just slow down yeah. no matter what. Just yeah, slow, slow down. down. Let it just take it, take it at Let the pace it. that comes. Needs to You've marinate. been thinking about it for months and months and months. Yeah. Let it, let them catch up to you. So yeah. again, 
Uh, this reminds me, I got one more. I think this is also yeah. came from your faith is your fortune. And I think it ties into a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Stop trying to change the world since yeah. it's only the mirror. Yeah. Man's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Yeah. Leave the mirror and change your faith. Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. Yeah. Again, it all comes down to us. Yeah. What outside us a reflection of the filters that we have within ourselves. If something looks weird, there's something going on inside of you that lets it look weird or pushes, projects it out as you pushed out. I love when you giggle. You look, you look a bit weird. <laughs> but I'm used I, to well, I, I think, yeah, <laughs> Something it, looks a bit weird. I, I look a lot weird. You're talking about my scruff. Is it this? No, just you in general. My, that's why, that's why I like whatever. doing these shows. With oh, well, thank you very much. I like your weirdness. <laughs> I like the right. scrub. My mom used to say she loved me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she used to. Look, oh, I, I think there will be some nice comments about your five o'clock shadow on this um, YouTube because it does suit you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. I think Thank it you, definitely suits I don't probably think it's not going to be the me, soon. but it suits you. My grandmother had one yeah, of those. probably scratch your face all up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Makes My me Italian look rough and tough. I know. My awesome. Italian grandmother had a bit of a mustache and a beard. <laughs> so I've, I have so much in common with you now. So I, I like, I remind you of your Italian grandmother. Yeah, maybe that's, that's why I like it. Actually, I well, used to cry you know, when she used to kiss me because it used to freak me out. It's the Vivarelli <laughs> part of you, right? It is. The, the, the Vivarelli is the Italian part, right? Yep. Yeah. And you yeah, got to say it with your hands. Mustache. She had a mustache. The Vivarelli. The Scappicelli. <laughs> that is oh. awesome. Good. She was probably short too, right? She was short. <laughs> height challenge. I don't know what it was, but all the Italian grandmothers seemed like they're really short. Was there something yeah. different with the gravity of the earth back then? I don't know why it is, but no, it's just the pasta weighs everybody. I'm short. They're like they're like the people that pose for. Uh, it's true. It does, right? Too, you've been watched too many times. Yeah. You've shrunk. <sighs> That's what it is. Yeah. Well, I think we did an amazing show. I um. We're gonna link some stuff, uh, so we'll we'll chat, we'll touch base about all that to make sure that that I I, I put those in my videos as well. But that's yeah, uh, for sure. man, I, I don't know. Keep I think it. we covered some major stuff. Yeah, I asked it. for keep you out. I asked two probably the toughest questions. You did. You they were good them. questions. Love it. Yeah, and I think that yeah. Well, I think a lot of people mind. ask those. Yeah, and that's just my opinion. You can disagree with it. It's just you my do opinion. what? Well, it's just yeah. my opinion. That's just me. You know, I'm not saying and, that's the whole law of attraction viewpoint. It's my opinion. That's it. And that's. That's all I got. And here's the other thing too. You and I are doing the best we can. We're offering our understanding best of our abilities. Yeah. Someone might've said something that's slightly different. Maybe you read it a certain way. I, we're just doing our best, right? Like, so, you know, I, you know, I'm, no need for thumbs down. It's okay. <laughs> We're just trying to trying to throw some good stuff out there. Good conversation. Of course, this is on the fly. This is uh, pretty much zero editing for zero editing stuff. and it works um, out well that pretty way. much zero yeah. planning. Yeah. No, that was yeah. We <laughs> got on and we're like, all right, anything yeah. to the table, and then we just talked about a few minutes, and all of a sudden we're like, all right, that'll work. That that we can do a show on this. So yeah. there you go. I like, about the I like the random ones sometimes. You don't the have or a topic. Yeah. Yeah. That's We've done that too. We've done that life. actually interviewing yep. people before too, which is a challenge to have. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Very good. Well, I hope everybody enjoys. Certainly, Anya, you've got all sorts of uh, you do books. You've got a meditation channel. You've got meditation classes. Uh, you've got all sorts of things. So everybody check out Anya's channel. What is your website, by the way? What is it? Uh, uh, do you know, it's my name off the top of your head, but it's not. It is it's really. Is that simple? It's dot it's net dot org. Um, dot com. My name dot com. Dot com. On but it, but it'll, dot com. it'll send you to a just a page saying it's under construction. So you just got to email me. So it's not really working yet because there's a lot of stuff okay. going up on. And that's. Uh, it'll which, just be done uh, which, when it's done. Uh, email are you using? A person of interest twenty fourteen at gmail.com, which I'll put down below. Uh, yeah. 
course you will. So anyway, that's for everybody out there. A person of interest, 2014 at gmail.com is how you can get in touch with Anya. She's fantastic. And how do we get in touch I with I love this you, woman dearly. Mr. And Radio Star. That's great. I always recommend, I like to make it a little more challenging because it's yes, me. Um, go to my about section on my channel and there's an email section there. Uh, if you'd like to contact me, please do. So I get a lot of emails and so I, I do the best I can. So I, that's why I don't make it easy. If you yeah. really want to email me, please uh, we can discuss things as you as you would like but yeah i don't like to make it too easy don't make it easy people just email just to email oh my gosh yeah <laughs> all Saw right the sunshine well, today. it's a wrap it's like, oh that's fantastic yes cheers mate all right cool cheers, well thank you Anya, for everything we will talk in very soon i think we're trying to do these a little bit more often than we've done yeah. in the past so we're gonna yeah. we'll see if uh, if i can hold up on my end of the bargain because frankly it's me that has a hard time people it's not on you an incredible <laughs> and one of the greatest so Good thank stuff. you on you uh you're the All best right. we will do the soon and uh yeah comment people throw questions out there for stuff that you're interested in us doing either on on channel or mine and uh yeah. we'll see uh if we can maybe work that into our next discussion it's always fun oh, yeah so thank sure. you and we'll talk lots soon love, everyone lots right. of love everybody self-love bye everyone ciao always.